Okay, okay, I'd like so to, would you introduce yourself, please? Oh, sure, I'm Joe Clark. I'm the men's soccer coach at Washington U in St. Louis. And just just wrapped up our preseason? Was this your well, last this scrimmage? this is our last scrimmage, yeah. We okay. played Missouri Science and Technology twice, and we were fortunate and won one nothing down there and then tied at our place here tonight, 0-0, zero to zero, in two very good games, playoff-type games. It was, it was fun watching both of you. There wasn't a lot of offense, but I saw two teams that kept the ball on the surface, moved you know, I, it around real well, had obviously have a lot of confidence after last year's results. Yeah, I think um, both teams created a few chances. Mm -hmm. uh, I thought the goalie on Rolla made some great saves. To, <laughs> Especially to there in that scoring. last five minutes. And, um, <laughs> you know, I'm happy with Rolla. We're both looking at players and trying to figure out our team. I used 18 kids tonight, rolling them in and out. And uh, some, that does break up your fluidity a little. Uh, I would love it if people came and watched us. A lot of kids, people, especially in St. Louis, think that D3 soccer is nothing. And our, almost our entire lineup is out of the U.S. Academy League. Uh, we have two players on our team that have won the national championship in the U.S. Academies, from one from Michigan with the Vardar team, another one with the Baltimore Bays this year. And in the final, when they won the under-18, the Baltimore Bays, they beat my left backs team who plays for the Chicago Fire. You know, so we have excellent, excellent players that just want to get a great academic education and play some quality soccer. Then the way you moved it, you guys finished, you made it to the playoffs last year, you had an early season bye. Yeah, we had a bye. We were one of the top four seeds. We right. were rated to have the toughest schedule in the nation last year in D3. Lost on PKs against a good Loris team here in the second round. And uh, lost, we hit, lost five of our six backs and uh, the rest of the team returns and we've moved some players around and I think we're going to develop into a good backfield. Coach Ahern was uh, point talking to me about your center midfielders. Can you tell me a little bit about those two fellas? Well, I think we have more than just the two, but right now Cody and Cody Kostakis, number seven, and Mike Flowers, I think is 17. All right. Uh, we're not even wearing our numbers right now, but uh, they're both really technical with insight. Uh, they know what they're going to do with the ball well before they get it. They're two and three plays ahead of the game, and so they're able to get out of jams and possess almost any type of pass that comes to them, and that is contagious for the rest of the team. They all trust them, so we're able to get it in and get it out and get it to the other side. And get that it trust and factor and the confidence yeah. factor coming off of last year's success are obviously key. When do you open the season? We open uh, Thursday night against Webster out at the soccer park, and then we play against a good Central Iowa team on Saturday, here, Saturday night the third. Excellent. I'm looking for forward to seeing several games myself. Thanks, Good. Coach. Come to them all. See ya. Okay.